Well, that'll do it for King of America 7 here at the Humboldt Speedway. Just wrapped up a fantastic 70 lapper. We just caught up with winner Ryan Gustin, second place Kay Dillard, third place Johnny Scott, and fourth place Lucas Schott in victory lane. It was good, man. That track was definitely up on the wheel, pretty physical there. This fat boy needs to get in a little better shape, I guess. <laughs> Let's talk about the race. Like you said, a pretty physical racetrack. Of course, we've had overcast and rain all weekend. This racetrack, fantastic. Ryan Whitworth did a great, great job this weekend yet again. Absolutely. I don't think he could have done any better for what we had. I mean, it missed it and rained all day. Uh, excellent for, for what, what he had to work with. Talk to me about the first 30 laps of that race. Rodney took off. You kind of just hung out there in second, took the lead officially on lap number 29. Were you saving yourself or just kind of feeling the racetrack out the first 30 laps? Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to keep up with the pace he was setting early up top for sure. I wanted to make sure I had some right rear left there at the end, and it looks like we did. So, Talk about your season. You've obviously got a handful of wins already. This will be a big one, which we'll talk about in a minute, but what a great season for this race team and you. Yeah, it's been awesome, man. We've we've been really fast. We've seen been able to capitalize on the wins, you know. Uh, a lot of bad luck, but, man, I'm sure open. It, uh, our good luck here don't change, so. 10000 bucks, pretty good paycheck right there, but becoming the first ever repeat winner of this prestigious event, it's got to feel even better. It feels awesome, man. I can't thank Steve and Jason and everybody at Hughes Race Cars, McCartney Welding Service, Murphy Oil Field, uh, Murphy Oil Company, <laughs> uh, Henrietta Ford, um, just all the, all the product sponsors on this thing. Man, I can't thank everybody enough for what they do. And Like I said, Steve and uh, our tire guy, it's everybody that puts in the hard work, man, to make this happen. Yeah, he fired really good on the restart. You know, that's before the race. I was sitting there looking, man. That's, you know, a stack filled of cars ahead of us. Uh, so I knew it was going to be tough to get up through there. But, you know, when it gets like that, it's kind of hard to save anything because uh, you got to run so hard to try to get by those guys. But uh, I just wasn't as good at the end. You know, he was, you know, started up front, could run his line the whole race. And I thought I had a stab at him there in lap traffic. And, uh, you know, just uh, everything didn't fall exactly our way, but, uh, you know, it's second at, you know, one of these crown jewels, you know, I'll definitely take it, but, uh, you know, we, we want to try to get us a win here eventually. Yeah, you've had such a great season, five wins already, like we talked about the other day. This one's going to come. You're going to win this race. You're going to win some crown jewels, but you've got to be tickled with the season you've got so far. Oh, yeah, by far. You know, like I've said, it's it's been a huge blessing for us just to be up here, you know, doing that, and especially with the success we've had, but, uh, you know, just to be able to run second at this deal, you know, it's, I feel like we're definitely making progress. You know, I hadn't been as good on the long races uh, throughout the past couple of years, so I feel like we're definitely making progress, you know, more so me as a driver, you know, trying to be patient and uh, keep my nose clean. I was just biding my time. I think I waited a little too long to get going, but we had that, that uh, yellow there at the end, and my car didn't quite fire off as good as Caden uh, Ryan's did. I think my tires may have sealed up a little bit, but... Uh, I'll definitely take a third place to, I mean, to run to them guys. It's it's a good uh, it's a good weekend for us, and uh, we'll just uh, we're having a good year this year. I just got to thank all my sponsors. Without them, none of this would be possible, and uh, we'll just keep working at it and uh, just try to win the next one we go to. A couple USMTS wins already this season. A win last weekend in Las Cruces as well. Hard Charger here a couple of nights ago. So like you said, you're having a great year. You got to be really happy with tonight. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm definitely happy. My crew's been working their butts off, and I can't thank them enough. And uh, we're definitely having a good year. And I think. Uh, I think we can continue doing good. We just got to keep working hard, and uh, I think we'll. We'll be right there. Yeah, uh, really happy. Wasn't expecting to get up there that fast. Um, didn't want to see that yellow. Just seemed like I didn't have anything for him after that. But uh, I actually, was running third the last lap and broke a drive shaft and uh, was able to wheel her into fourth. So um, glad that happened in the last lap, but. Um, just happy to be in, in the top four here. I was going to ask you about that with contact between you and Johnny here at the flag stand. I was wondering if something broke, so now we know. But what a great weekend. You hadn't sat in this race car yet, of course. And you had a great run, third place on Thursday night, now top five here at the King. Yeah, you can't complain. Uh, got a hats off to all the guys at MB Customs uh, getting us out here with a fast hot rod right out of the box. So uh, looking forward to the year.